Hi, this is Andrew Wolf. In this video, I'm going to be talking about cancer genetics. Um, so here we have a picture of the uh, karyotype of the human genome, which shows the uh, 23 pairs of genes that make up the uh, human genome. And you can see they're numbered here from 1 to uh, 23. And they are in pairs. So each of these here is a um, is one chromosome. And, you know, one is from the father, the male, and one is from the mother, the female, and um, that is what makes up the human genome in every one of the cells of our body. So I know this is review for, for most of you. And so what is um, what are each of these chromo chromosomes made out of? Of course, um, the chromosomes, if you look at them closely, are made up of these tightly coiled um, bit strands of DNA. So if you look at them very closely, you will see DNA in the double helix structure that, that we all know so well that was discovered by Watson and Crick. And they are, of course, connected together by the base pairs of the nucleotides. Um, and so if we sort of separate the strands out, and I should draw one in red, I'm going to draw one side in blue here just so that you can see then we will see that there are you know sort of base pairs here that connect these sides together and these base pairs are made up of four nucleotides and again these four nucleotides just sort of repeat over and over and over again in the genome. Okay. And also a review here, adenine always pairs up with thymine and guanine always pairs up with cytosine. Oops, yeah, let me use the correct color here. So we have the four nucleotides and the nucleotides always fit together in the same um, the same pairs guanine, cytosine, adenine, thymine. And each of these uh, each of these strands of DNA that are uh, wrapped up in a coil of a chromosome has millions of these base pairs that are lined up, and thousands of base pairs lined up will um, have a start codon and a stop codon. And what a codon is, is a row of three uh, nucleotides that are meaningful. And um, there are start codons and stop codons that tell, um, that, tell the, uh, that signal that there is the beginning of a gene and the end of a gene. So a gene is a series of nucleotides that is meaningful to the body. And what do uh, the genes um, what are the genes for? Well, the genes obviously, we know that genes um, pass on genetic information um, through inheritance um, from, um, from parents to children. But within cells, we know that genes actually code for proteins. And proteins are sort of um, the things that cells use to, um, to uh, both provide structure and function to the cell. So how does DNA code for protein? Well, it needs to, uh, to make use of RNA in between, and in particular messenger RNA. And, um, you know, there's a lot of complexity to this. And actually, there's um, a video that I'll include in my playlist by, um, by Saul Khan. He did a really nice job of explaining this in his uh, explanation of, of uh, genetics. So if this isn't really making sense to you, then, um, then I would uh, suggest going back to that video and just looking at that briefly. Um, RNA looks very similar to, to DNA is that it has, uh, you know, similar nucleotides. The only difference is that instead of the thymine, it has uracil. And what happens when the cell is ready to make um, to make a protein, it is going to create um, RNA by uh, having a protein come along the DNA strand and actually split the DNA strand apart and then um, and then start to create uh, um, 
the RNA by connecting um, appropriate nucleotides, by, by um, connecting the corresponding nucleotides to, to the nucleotides in the DNA here. And let me just uh, demonstrate that here. Okay, so what happens is, since this is RNA that we are building here, um, we are actually going to have a uracil that comes down here and connects with, with um, the thymine. I mean the adenine. So we have a uracil here that's connecting to the adenine. And we have a guanine that connects, uh, we have a cytosine that connects to the guanine. All right, so we have a cytosine here. And then we have an adenine that connects to the thymine. And we have a guanine that connects to the cytosine and the cytosine, etc. So you kind of get the point here. And then, um, you know, we have the ribonucleic acid here that connects. And then what happens is this sort of floats off into the endoplasmic reticulum outside of the nucleus. And here, we're going to pretend that we sort of went outside of the nucleus here. And we'll disconnect from our DNA here. And um, messenger RNA is single-stranded. And what happens is, each of the sort of three, each of the, th um, each codon here of uh, three nucleotides actually um, connects with an amino acid. So we have an amino acid that connects with this, and one of the 20 amino acids in the body, and I'm not going to go into which ones which, so we might have, uh, you know, like a tryptophan here that connects with this. And then piece by piece, we build up amino acids. So we have amino acid one, amino acid two, amino acid three, and we slowly build up our protein, okay? So in a protein is a chain of connected amino acids that are built by the RNA from the code that comes from the genes from our DNA. Okay, so that's just a very quick um, overview.